Mixing soul, gospel, spoken word, and new world music, French jazz quintet Free River have been making a name for themselves over the past five years with their powerful compositions. Now, they've recently released their second album, a beautiful 10-tracked opus that you can take a voyage on when you listen. Now, I'm joined in the studio by singer and songwriter Emma Lamaji. Thank you so much for being on the show. Congratulations on the new album. Now, it's called Real Beginning, Beginning. which yeah. is interesting as a title for a second album. Mm. What does the title refer to? Uh, we, 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 we call it like that because for us, for Mattia and I, it's like the, the, the first time that we start to our music, to create our music, because the first album was more in cover. Mm -hmm, a cover album? Yeah. And uh, this one is only creation. creation. Oh, original compositions the original on, comp this, on the yeah. second album. Now, you mentioned Mattia, so that's... Uh, your guitarist, the guitarist you write with, Mathia mm -hmm. Levrero. Levrero. Uh, Levrero. Mm -hmm. Now, on your Facebook page, you mention that uh, Free River is kind of the meeting of two of artists. Two. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like two worlds colliding. What's your song writing process like with him? Um, uh, first of all, he comes at me with the music because he know he knows perfectly what I like, mm -hmm. and so he proposed some 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 kind of music like mix fusion, and then. I put the words on it mm -hmm. and then I, I create a melody and mm -hmm. if the melody fits, we keep the, the song like that. If not, we, we start from the beginning. And then you take it to the rest of the band. And to the rest of the band, yeah, and they put their color, but okay. not, not at the beginning. Okay, only. so you guys put the backbone together. Yeah. And then it's, do you improvise or how does it work? Sometimes, sometimes, it depends when we have time. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise you just dive right in. We're actually gonna listen to a song off the album. Uh, it's called The Voice of the Daughter. Insanity Proud of No vanity A beautiful song and Emma you have such a, a powerful voice it's incredibly versatile it's it's you've got this really interesting range when you sing and then you have this very commanding presence when you use spoken word there are several tracks where you use a spoken word on the album legacy no one will stop me which reminds me of uh, the revolution will not be televised by uh. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, artists inspire you for these for these tracks uh, I think it's because I've, I've, I've always wanted to 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 uh... To, to say words when I cannot sing. Because mm -hmm. for me, sometimes the words are, are stronger when they're just said mm -hmm. and not often sung. And uh, because I love poetry mm -hmm. and I love to read, uh, I, 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 always want, I always wanted to, to, to tell things like just saying it, you just know, it. without melody, without nothing. Especially when the words are strong. Mm -hmm. uh, you were talking about no one will stop me. It's a, it's a song written. Uh, uh, at the, in the Alpha, mm -hmm. by uh, Emmanuel Job, okay. who is uh, the great singer I'm working with. Okay. And uh, I loved his word. And mm -hmm. I asked him, can I use them? He said, yeah, come on, go for it. But when I start to sing, it wasn't that strong. Mm -hmm. But when I, I, I start to read them, I was like, oh, yeah. And that made sense to say them. Yeah. Now, what's interesting is your lyrics can, can feel quite political at times. Mm -hmm. uh, when we Look, listen to the song Legacy, for instance, you yeah. repeat the word, what is Africa to me? Now, you're originally, well, your family's from yep. Central African Republic. What inspires you when you write these lyrics? It's because of, uh, I, well, I'm going to say something very personal. <laughs> like, I feel a kind of, um, I'm not comfortable with my situation because I'm from Central Africa. Mm -hmm. I was born in Montpellier. I grew up in a, in a Central African home. 
in but, Montpellier, which, yeah, is, in which Montpellier. is a town in the south of France. Yeah. yeah. And uh, my parents didn't want me to, to, to speak the language be, before a certain age mm -hmm. because they didn't, they didn't want me to have an accent, okay. an African accent. Okay. When they arrived, it was difficult for a young girl speaking French with an accent. So okay. they said, you're going to learn, learn it later. But for me, it's a big, uh, I don't know, it's... Uh, I don't feel empty, but I don't feel uh, in my you yeah know? in your skin. So you yeah. like you need to reconnect with yes. Your roots. And I, and um, so I um, I came to Central Africa when I was 24 years old, mm -hmm. and so for me it was super late. And I, when I arrived there, I know that something happened. Mm -hmm. I felt home, mm -hmm. but I also felt very lost. And so when I came back, I was like, "What is this Africa to me? Mm -hmm. I want to know. I know it's my legacy. I know mm -hmm. it's where I'm coming from, where I belong." But I don't know it, so mm. that's why I was like, Phew. and especially because this country is very, uh, yeah, it's a big mess today. Yeah, there is a civil war, mm -hmm. still still lasting for yeah. years, years and years, and it's hard for us to go back there. Yeah, you know, and so I'm like, what is my country? It's one I don't know. I know it, but I don't know. Don't know it. So you're maybe trying to find it through the song. Yep. Now, when you have all sorts of other projects as well, you're a very prolific uh, artist. You lead a gospel band called mm -hmm. Heavenly Praise, mm -hmm. a gospel a choir as well, gospelize it. Yeah. And then you have um, a solo uh, project called Afro Plugged that you are actually, well, you're finishing an album, mm -hmm. if I understand correctly. What, tell us about these projects. What's different? <laughs> <laughs> Woo, this is my baby. <laughs> um, I mean, this is the first project where I am just me, myself, and I. Mm -hmm. It's um, a fusion yeah. project. Um, and you can see where all the types of music uh, I like. Mm -hmm. you know, so with hip hop, electro, soul, yeah. jazz also a little bit, world music, yeah. and gospel also, because uh, this is where I learned uh, uh, the, the, how to sing. How to sing. And uh, I sing in English and in, in Songo. Okay. So it's my Which is the language from, uh, from Central Africa. Africa. Yeah. Yep. Well, cool. And when can we expect an album? Maybe January. <laughs> okay. Well, we look forward to, to hearing that. Let's move on to some other music news making headlines. American singer songwriter Lana Del Rey is back with her fifth full length album called Norman Effing Rockwell, a hotly anticipated follow up to 2017's Lust for Life. Now, apparently, the album title came to Lana Del Rey as both a joke and a revelation. Produced by and co-written with super producer Jack Antonoff, it features 14 tracks weaving psychedelic nostalgia together with cold reality. 14 heartbreaking love songs driven by her trademark California cool sound, as you can hear on this track, The Greatest. Next, Justin Vernon, a.k.a. Bon Iver, is back with his fourth album, I, I. Fans will be happy to hear familiar Bon Iver elements assembled in this beautiful LP, from abstract swells of sound to cryptic yet tender lyrics. It's like a collage of all his greatest tricks with his trademark baritone voice, fearlessly front and center. Now, it's a little bit melancholy, but it's not a lonely album, as the LP features guest appearances from James Blake, Moses Sumney, and Y Oaks' Jen Wasner. Check out the album's single, Hey Ma. I wanted a bed Tell the story or it goes Tell the story or it goes Full time you talk your money up While it's living in a coal mine Now, Emma, you mentioned that you sing uh, in Sango on your solo project and uh, also in Free River you sing. So this is the language from the Central African Republic. Mm -hmm. You also sing in English. Mm -hmm. uh, would you ever want to sing in French? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe one day. It's just because 
To be honest, it's just because I don't know how to 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 make the French sound. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't have no no uh, affinity. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a <laughs> tricky know? one. Yeah, for me, it's hard to to make to make it sound. It's not as rhythmic a language. No, yeah. and uh, I don't feel the. Uh, that's my my language, but when I sing it, I don't feel something in, uh, like uh, intimate yeah, with the words. I don't know why. I yeah. don't know why. Well, maybe but one maybe day. one day, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I, I I I often sing in in French uh, in the church, mm -hmm. you know. So well, we, maybe one day we can look forward to hear your new singing French. In the meantime, <laughs> we'll talk about another French singer. So this is uh, this is Yannick Noah. So he's one of France's favorite celebrities. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a tennis legend uh, turned uh, well, of course, a singer. He's mm. actually come out with his eleventh album. Uh, wow. It's called Bonheur. Indigo, it's a colorful, sunshiny, and uplifting album that's sure to put a smile on your face. Now, this is Yannick Noah's big comeback to the musical scene after a five-year hiatus. Uh, he took a break to coach France's national tennis team. Now, the former champion says he needed to return to the festive energy of music and singing, which he sees as therapy is an interesting way to look at it. Now, we'll leave you with a single off his album. It's called Viens, but I want to thank you, Emma. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank uh, you. We look forward to uh, checking out your solo material, of course, but do check out Free River and uh, their new album mm. that's come out, New Beginning. Yep. Uh, we'll really have wild. to leave you uh, with that, but for more arts and cultures news, of course, you can head to our website. You can also get in touch on social media and stay tuned to France 24. More news coming up right after this. Petit regarde tous ces gens Et dans et danse dans le vent Petit regarde droit devant Les hommes y dansent contre courant Petit regarde tous ces gens Et dans et danse dans le vent Mais allez, mais allez, viens Y'a pas que ton frère, que ton frère Mais allez, mais allez